Uh, could time have more than one dimension? Just as string theory requires more spatial dimensions than we experience, couldn't it be possible to have more time dimensions than we experience? I so mm -hmm. want I so want time to have more than one dimension. It's, yes. There's nothing compelling mm -hmm. that requires us to think that. But, but that, that it does or doesn't? That it does. There's okay. nothing compelling us that requires that we have to think that time is more than one dimension. But if it did, that would just be cool. Is, is it possible? So, well, think about it. So if you if you go on to one of the time dimensions, mm -hmm. time would tick at a particular rate for you. Yeah, in, in phase another, four. And, <laughs> in another dimension, it could tick at a different rate. Uh -huh. And if you go in a direction that's a hybrid of each of those two directions, mm -hmm. it would you, you would then hybridize the rate at which your time unfolds. That's no different from walking. Uh, you can go north or you can go east. Mm -hmm. If you only go north, you're not going east at all. Yeah. If you only go east, you're not going... If you go in between... Northeast. You go, you're going a little bit north. Yeah. A little, you go north, northeast. Yeah. East, south... So you're, you're saying there could be time that's going north and time that goes east. In a sense. In, in, and in then you could pick a trajectory that gets you a little bit of one time and a lot more of another. That would just be kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. And I don't know quite how to think about that going forward. There's, we're not compelled to do so.